in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, to whom we all have to turn back. Honorable listeners and respectable audience, you know that we have started a series of linguistics. In linguistics, we commenced the chapter that is known as psycholinguistics. Today, I'm going to teach you behaviorist theory. What is behaviorist theory? What is the importance of behaviorist theory? And what are some examples to know and understand about behaviorist theory? Listeners and ideas, behaviorist theory uh, argues that human beings learn through interaction and behavior. The theory further argues that human beings learn through avoid and punishment. Whenever we are talking about avoid and punishment, the theory further says that whenever uh, there is a behavior in a society and that behavior is accepted, so it is repeated again and again. However, if it is not accepted, then it is not repeated again. The theory uh, founders are B.F. Skinner and Paolo and many more. Listeners and audience, as I told you, that the theory uh, tells us about the importance of interaction and behavior that human beings learn through these two processes. The theory prioritizes uh, behavior and interaction over mental processes. Lessons and items. Let me provide two examples that you further understand the importance of this theory. For example, uh, there is a student and he or she works very hard. After the completion of the examination, that student got first position. So now, if that student is appreciated, praised and encouraged along with the award, so definitely she or he will work her again and will repeat the same behavior again. However, at the same child, he words hurt, but uh, the same position he got, but he was not awarded, he was not appreciated, he was not praised, definitely. He or she will not continue the same struggle and the same work hurt again. Same is the case of a behavior. If a behavior is accepted in the society, in the environment, so that behavior will be repeated by the child again. But if it is not accepted, that will not be repeated. That's why the theory focuses upon the award as well as the uh, punishment. Whenever someone uh, does a good work, there must be uh, a want for that, feedback for that, praise for that. But if the work, the result or the consequences of that work is not good, then it should be, uh, for example, punished in different ways. For example, there is a child and uh, he abuses to the people. So now, if that child is not stopped by his or her behavior, so he or she will repeat his or her behavior because uh, he or she will be thinking that this behavior is accepted to the society, to the environment. However, if he or she is reprimanded, scolded or advised politely, uh, by someone, by the parents and the environment, so then that will not be repeated again.
So the main focus of this uh, theory is on interaction and behavior that human being learn through interaction and behavior and there is punishment uh, and award as well which helps in the process of uh, learning. Hope that this topic is clear to you. Thank you.